Hey guys, Coach UK back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I would set up a My League file to get a realistic My League experience. And this is the first video of a My League project I have planned. And I thought, well, as I set and go through that journey, I thought I'd just kind of share with you how to do certain things and how I would approach them based on. Um, you know what I think. Now I'm new to these my leagues, so any feedback you have to tell you, you know, you want to share with me to help improve my experience, you know, that would be great. I'd appreciate the feedback down in the comments. Now, if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the like button. And uh, so uh, let's get started here, and I'll kind of walk you through what I would do to set up your file. Now, in this particular screen, you can see down at the bottom it says current roster, so you have a choice. Uh, between you know what kind of roster you want to use you want to use the custom roster the actual official 2k roster you can do that you want to use a custom roster you can do that so I'm going to use a custom roster <clears throat> from a guy named Leo Allure and Leo Allure has uh, created a fictional roster with all fictional players and I've always liked his work so shout out to Leo Allure for all his hard work on his fiction roster because uh, that's what we're going to use here. And you can see down at the bottom now it says Current Roster Tim's Fiction 2019. So the next thing I do, I go over to Custom League. And there's only one option, that's to start in the regular season. And this takes you to a screen where you can basically customize all the teams in the league, rebrand them, realign divisions, you know, whatever you want to do. Like here I could choose the Utah Jazz and I could move them if I wanted. To an entirely different division uh, but I'm not going to do that I'm going to leave them right there the other thing is I can edit them and this will take me to a screen where I could rebrand them here if I wanted to uh, but for now I'm going to make all those changes after we're in the file as we go along and kind of roll those changes out so you can see uh, the changes that I make and kind of how I do them and so we're going to advance here and then go to the setup options now I always use 12 minute quarters because I'm a 12 minute quarter guy and I have the simulated quarter length and the quarter length that I actually play on is the same. So if you do that you don't need to change these to on. And if you were going to do a fantasy draft obviously you have the option to do that here by turning that on. And uh, the draft order I think that probably keeps maybe the files you know like official 2k roster maybe somebody traded some draft picks so if you turn it on it might keep those turn it off it may not um, and then serpentine and fixed you can choose the player pool like if you want to use the classic teams and one of the nice features here is they make it so you only get one of the actual players and not like eight Michael Jordans so but I'm not gonna use a fantasy draft so I'm gonna turn that off and then advance now here this is where you got to choose what team you control. Typically, I choose my Pacers here, but because I'm going to make a bunch of changes in the file once I get in there, I'm going to select all the teams. Just keep in mind that if you want, once you're inside the file, you can change team control inside there too. So if you just choose one now, and then later you want to add a team, you want to change that too, you can do that. So for now, I'm going to use the 30 team control. And this tells me what I can choose here as far as the options when I can make a manual or auto. So right now I'm going to leave them on manual and I'll probably change that uh, later. So let's uh, advance. And for this screen then we can load in the draft class that we want to use. So you can auto generate rookies and create your own. You can load another one. Um, you know, a lot of people that I see complain about these auto generated classes and uh, what we're going to do is just like we did with our custom roster you can load in custom draft classes from people who spent some time on them and so I'm going to use the guys draft classes uh, the guy's name's Big Doug Swan and he's got some fictional classes which I thought would be well suited to what I'm doing because we're going to be using fictional players and he's created nine classes so um, you know, I'm going to, you know, I, I'm going to actually download all these. I've already started to do that so that once the servers are turned off, if I'm still playing the franchise, the, my league, then I can still have access to them. 
So we're going to load that in and we're going to go with the storylines just to add a little bit of variation. So you can see now now we're in the file here. Uh, we're controlling the Sixers, which you can change that up at the top with a um, the right stick. So I'll just go to the Pacers. And then I'm going to go over here to the settings. So there's two sections of settings, options and tuning sliders. Um, I'm going to start in the tuning sliders in this trade logic area here and I'm, I'm going to leave this stuff the way it is. I think probably the most important stuff at least to me when I looked at it was you know keeping trade override off so you can't you know override this you know if the CPU decides they don't want to trade with you and I want offers from the CPU although it's kind of annoying I think when you're in the file and I want CPU teams to be, tra be able to trade with each other and I want to trade approval off so that if they decide they want to trade, I'm going to let them do that. But if you wanted to have control over what they're going to do, some people like to approve trades because teams don't necessarily like. One of the things I've seen is uh, Kevin Durant going to the Pacers when I've simulated some seasons, and you know the likelihood of that happening, unless he would uh, <laughs> blow out a knee or something, probably not really realistic, but. It is nice that, you know, in actual computer simulations, they would do that. So some people want some more control over that, or I, I don't mind that as much. So uh, for the most part, that's all the same. Now, progression, how your players, uh, I guess, for lack of a better term, age in the file, these settings are going to kind of determine how that works. And um, I decided after some research to also customize these to a guy named uh, Barncore's settings who's went in and made some adjustments to how these things work and so you can see here the progression sliders and I'm gonna load those in so you can see here like prayer player uh, progression rate is now 53 as opposed to 50 some of these things were 50 before now they're all um, the actual you know the ones that he put in there so I started by loading these in because I noticed that if I loaded in my gameplay sliders first, it would, uh, when I loaded his settings in, it would override my gameplay settings. So, anyway, because I, I didn't want to use his gameplay settings, but I, I did want to use his progression sliders. So, after that, I go into options. I go into my league settings, make sure that it's at 12. Position settings. <clears throat> What's nice is you can go in and you can play on player lock if you want, which means you would just play one individual player as opposed to position lock, which means you would always play at shooting guard, for example. And that's kind of a nice option because it used to be that if you wanted to play on player lock, you'd always have to play as the backup. But now, you know, and I don't know if that's new, but that's the first time I've seen it when I in this version. And then there's the CPU sliders. These were Barncore's gameplay sliders, but I'm actually going to load in Mike Marsh's, uh, Mike Marsh with three eyes. Whoops. And then those are going to be my gameplay sliders. So you can see if I go back to the progression sliders, they still match up what Barncore had in there. And as far as my league automation, right now we're going to leave that to all manual. Uh, but you can go in here and you can change teams to user controlled or CPU controlled, which is nice. And eventually we'll do that, but I've got some plans on how I want to structure the league before we begin so that, you know, having control of certain teams is going to be helpful to me. And then uh, the other settings here are gameplay settings that you can set how you want. Uh, I'll have other videos, uh, I'm sure, on the channel about that. Oops, I. One thing uh, I recommend you do as far as coach settings, though, is always have the A system off, too. Uh, that way, the settings that you make, I prefer to have it off. All right, so that's the setup in my, my league series that I'm going to launch. Those are the basic ground settings. In the next video, I'll kind of get into more how I'm going to set up the league, uh, teams, and some other exciting options that I hope that you'll enjoy. All right, I'm a Coach 2K, and I will see you on the court.